Good morning, and welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. Today is Monday, April 27th. Our readings today are taken from the Acts of the Apostles and the Gospel of John, and they teach us that even though change can be difficult and sometimes even scary, if we focus on things in life that are truly important, we will find that Christ is always with us. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the God of all consolation, who has shown us his great mercy. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that putting off our old self with all its ways, we may live as Christ did. For through the healing paschal remedies, you have conformed us to his nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called Synagogue of Freedmen Cyrenians and Alexandrians and people from Sicilia and Asia came forward and debated with Stephen, but they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they instigated some men to say, we have heard him speaking blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people, the elders and the scribes, accosted him seized him and brought him before the Sanhedrin. They presented false witnesses who testified, this man never stopped saying things against the holy place and the law. For we have heard him claim that this Jesus the Nazarene will destroy this place and change the customs that Moses handed down to us. All those who sat in the Sanhedrin looked intently at him and saw that his face was like the face of an angel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's responsorial psalm is, Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Though princes meet and talk against me, your servant meditates on your statutes. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. I declared my ways and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Remove from me the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinances before me. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had fed the 5,000, his disciples saw him walking on the sea. The next day, the crowd that remained across the sea saw that there had only been one boat, and that Jesus had not gone along with his disciples in the boat, but only his disciples had left. Other boats came from Tiberias near the place where they had eaten the bread when the Lord gave thanks. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, amen, I say to you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate of the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that etern endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father, God, has set his seal. So they said to him, 
what can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered them and said, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are all accustomed to looking for the presence of Christ in obvious places. Prayer, worship, the celebration of the sacraments. And in these things, we do find him. But if we look closer, we can find him everywhere. Look for him today in places you may not expect, and you'd be amazed at what you might find. Let us bring our cares and concerns to the Lord. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we may be strengthened by our faith to continue her mission, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our call to stewardship, that we may use the gifts to benefit those who need our help, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in any way burdened by this pandemic, especially those on the front lines, that God will comfort them, heal them, and provide for them and their families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in need of physical or spiritual healing, that God's gracious spirit will give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal peace of God's presence through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray with confidence to the Father and the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help us to see through the distractions of life and make us aware of the blessings that our journey to you bring us every day. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Go in peace.